Is this really zoomed in? No, ooh, not that way. Okay, you guys, it's been a while. I'm starting a vlog off in the middle of Central Park because it's that beautiful. And I have these weird little flippy hairs. We ran out of dry shampoo, so we're just kind of dealing with what we have here. But we stopped at Ralph's this morning and Avery's currently changing behind a tree. <laughs> Don't drop my pants. <laughs> We have both, one for one and dropping our pants in Central Park, but obviously we had other things covering whatever else, because we're not trying to disturb the peace here. But it is stunning in Central Park today. We wanted to come here because the foliage is beautiful, and I actually have not been in Central Park during the fall time since moving to the city, which I think is a little no. weird. I know. And I was gonna be, because I feel like I always have Problem. my work project like around the same time and I'm always in New Jersey for it so for any of you guys who are new I haven't been vlogging over the past two weeks because I've been home in New Jersey because I've been at the New Jersey office doing a project that we have every six months and I've missed vlogging so much so I picked up the camera as soon as I could woke up at 6 30 this morning and got dressed for a little fall shoot with Avery so um we went to Ralph's this coffee that I have in my hand was free and, and I feel like that's our ultimate goal because we go there all the time and we were I was there when they opened and they had people sick out so the manager was like oh would you mind just waiting I think we'll open at 8 15 I was like that's totally fine and then when Avery and I went to go wait online he was like you were here first weren't you like do you want a cold brew or do you want a cold brew and he like came out with free coffees for us and it was so nice and I told him on the stairs, I was like, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it literally it doesn't get any better than that. That was, so, that was such a good one. Oh and I got all of that recorded. See, these are like the reasons why I vlog. It's the memories, honestly. But um, yeah, so we got free Ralphs. We're in the middle of Central Park. And welcome back to another vlog episode. I hope you guys are all doing very well and enjoying the fall. I don't want to say the fall weather because it's 80 degrees out today. And we walked here in tank tops. But what'd you say? Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's fall by you guys, but it's not fall by us. But... Hopefully you're enjoying the fall season and the foliage as much as we are. Um, but we just got our um, first outfit done. I think I'm gonna change again because I have one more outfit after this. And then we're gonna do some fun things today. I don't really know what that consists of, but I have a lot of packages in the apartment. I have possibly seeing my sister later because she's coming into the city for a facial. And I'm not sure what we're gonna get up to, but I will take you guys along. So. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have every single one of you if you don't already. And yeah, let's have a fun fall day. I really want some fall foliage and I came across this little market that has really pretty like green flowers here. Those like poofy ones. I think these are green hydrangeas, but I'm not positive. And then I also love these tones here mixed with like maybe those but I can't be dropping like 60 bucks on flowers so I think I'm just gonna choose one like this is also really pretty but I think I'm gonna choose one and get these set up in the apartment when I'm back I have the largest knot that I just found in my hair does this happen to anybody else that when the weather gets colder for some reason my hair will and I think it's like from turtlenecks and like just having knitwear on but my hair will fully just the entire bottom panel of it becomes one huge rat's nest so it is 12 17. i got back to the apartment at around 11 30 and i cleaned up some things i had something to eat and what else i feel like that's oh i took my gel nail polish off so i need to file the rest of this off because i got most of it but I didn't have time to soak the rest of my nails because I'm going to meet my sisters. So as you guys may or may not know, my sister's getting married in the beginning of next year in March. And we're gonna go and pick out her wedding shoes, which I'm so excited. I don't know if she's gonna get a pair today, but she wants to go and look and kind of take inventory of her options. So I'm gonna go and meet her and my twin sister at the store now, and I need to change. But first I wanted to show you guys 
So Avery and I were walking to the subway, or I was walking to the subway, she was walking home, and I came across this cute little, kind of like bodega, but like a fancier bodega on the Upper East Side, and I saw that they had these really pretty like green flowers, and I was like, if these are not $30, I'm gonna get them. So I ended up being able to get three of these stalks for $30, so I got two of the green ones, and then one of these kind of like I don't know, like fall color, foliage colored <laughs> flower. I actually don't know what these are, but these two were seven and then that one was 10. So I was like, that sounds like a great deal to me. So I need to cut these really quickly before I leave because I don't want them to be out of water this whole time. And the vase of flowers that I had while I was gone got really like gross and moldy. Um, that's gross to <laughs> be telling you guys. But um, yeah, so I wanted to replace them and I wanted just like a nice little floral arrangement to have in the apartment because I think I only started really doing florals in the spring of this year and I kind of want to keep it going all the way around and just see like what different types of florals will be out and these were really pretty so I'm gonna cut these quickly get dressed and then we're gonna go and meet my sisters I've just finished cutting the flowers and do not worry, I'm not leaving them chaotic. Like, well, technically I'm leaving them for now, but I genuinely do not have time to arrange these. But I think what I'm going to do is these are gonna kind of be a little bit longer than these ones that are gonna frame them in between. But I actually don't have time to do that right now. Also note the packages that I need to show you guys <laughs> at some point in this vlog. But anyway, for the flowers, this is the best that they're going to be right now because I don't have time and I need to change but I wanted to get them into some fresh water before I headed out so that they wouldn't be sitting in the paper all afternoon. And I'll also link my ribbed glass face for you guys because I think it's 15 or $16 and it is like the thing that I've gotten the most use out of probably out of all of my homeware stuff. So really affordable and it's really pretty and I feel like it works with a lot of different arrangements. So um, yeah, this looks terrible right now, but better arrangement to come. Okay, we are gonna figure out something to do with this hair, it's getting greasier by the minute. But this is my outfit that I'm gonna wear to go shopping with my sisters. I have an H&M little racer tank on, H&M blazer. My shorts are from Zara, they're just a regular classic um, trouser short. Let me see if I can bring you guys down a smidge. Um, so yeah, trouser shorts, loafers. I'm wearing my Chanel ones that I got off of Vestier Collective, and then this is a rented bag from Vivral that I'm gonna wear underneath the blazer just so that it's not out and about. Um, I'm gonna bring a nail file so that I can get the rest of this off my nails while I'm on the subway, probably, and then we are gonna head up. Also, these sunglasses that I'll be wearing are gonna be my Ban Bay sunglasses. You guys know that this is one of my favorite affordable brands of sunglasses. Really, really good quality but like affordable, not like affordable, they're just affordable. Anyway, so this is the outfit. Hopefully I don't sweat because it's about 76 degrees outside and we're just gonna crack on with the day. I'm gonna grab my Ralph's coffee that I have not finished yet and we're gonna have a nice little ride up to the Manolo store. Good morning everyone, happy Sunday. I am looking a little bit crazy. I got out of bed maybe like 15 minutes ago and I decided to pop on my little eye patches from Pixie because I have some puffiness going on, which is normal when you first wake up obviously, but I just wanna do a little bit of self-care self -care today because I don't have too much going on. But um, these are the, I think these are the hydrating ones, but very affordable. I have used them so many times and I feel like I'm not even halfway done with the package yet. So I will link these for you guys and then they also have like different types that target different things. So one is for like darkness, one's for puffiness, um, hydration. I think there's a bunch of different like options that you can choose. But I also struggled to figure out if they go this way or if they go the other way. And I think that this is right, but it also is just throwing me off a little bit. But anyway. Last night, I didn't pick up the camera again because I had a very calm 
Saturday, considering it's also Halloween weekend. It's very loud outside by the time I went to bed around 11. And the city's very quiet this morning, probably because people stayed out late. But I just wanted to have a little Harry Potter marathon, so that's what I did yesterday. And I did a lot of cleaning. So all of that is done, which I'm very happy about. I do have one pile on the couch here that I have to take pictures for Poshmark, but other than that, we are pretty much all set and it feels great to wake up on a Sunday and just have all of that clean and now I just have to do laundry. So I figured before I make breakfast, because I'm actually not too hungry, which is strange. I'm always really hungry as soon as I wake up. Also, I did my nails last night and we did bright red. I always think that I'm going to regret doing something really bright just because I feel like they definitely pop when I'm talking or showing you guys things, but I love a good bright red. I think it's a classic color. And we're gonna do some unboxings. But we have oh, a little pile here. I can't remember if I showed you guys yesterday. Um, and I need to just bring it over. Okay, so we're gonna start by me showing you guys an empty. This is from Caudalie and it's their, the, it's called The Rich Cream. And I just finished it last night. But I also received a little top up from them. So I am really excited about that because Caudalie was one of those companies that I tried it first and immediately I loved the brand, which is super rare for me and also rare for my skin. I feel like sometimes I find brands that are like okay, but none that my skin love and really absorb. I always wear this moisturizer and I never have to like reapply in the morning. I don't have flakiness, which is great. And I find that a lot with some like thicker creams that I think are gonna be like super rich and they end up not being. So we have a little gift set here. And we have the serum moisturizer that I just showed you guys and an eye cream. So I love that they do sets for the holidays. So this is a $204 value, but it's $130. So this is a really great gift for someone who is like really into skincare and you just wanna get them the whole routine from start to finish. And then also for skincare, we have a package from Kiehl's, which I used to use Kiehl's in high school, um, but they're coming back into my life, so I'm super excited about that. And we have a mask, which I think I'm gonna do after my beautiful little eye patches. And then we have an eye zone treatment, which I love an eye cream. I feel like I don't use them enough, if I'm being honest. The ultra facial cream is what I used to use in addition to the body lotion, which was really great too. And then we also have a retinol serum, which I need to get back into my retinol. Another thing that I neglect a little bit. Um, the next one we have is from Renpure. And this is a hair care line. So this is what the brand looks like. I have not tried this before, but I'm definitely open to it because I always use Biolage and I feel like you're supposed to change up your hair care routine. So this is coconut cream and vitamin E. And we have the conditioner the shampoo and then they also put a lavender and honey body wash in there. We love a good body wash in addition to my just classic um, Dove soap. And then the next one that we have is from Central Park West, which is a New York City brand. And we have some stunning knitwear from them. I went with some neutral styles, obviously. <laughs> um, I guess it's not that obvious. I wore pink it like two vlogs ago. So um, this is a color block knit, which I thought was really cool and kind of different, especially since I have a few black sweaters. I feel like I'm pretty good on black sweaters now, even though those were lacking in my wardrobe before. But I loved that this neckline had this sort of contrast piping here. And then the sleeves have the white and then beige. So really pretty. I feel like this is a sweater. If you guys struggle to get dressed in the morning, this is a piece that is neutral, but also speaks for itself. So you don't have to put too much effort into your outfit, which I love. I love getting dressed in the morning, but sometimes I'm just not in the mood and I feel like that's a really good piece to throw on. And then the next one, which I'm super excited about are honestly, I actually got one like this that I need to show you guys from Mint Velvet, but I'm technically supposed to be saving this stuff for my new in my wardrobe video. Um, but this is a cable nut zip through sweater, and I don't know what it is about it being a full zip, but it just makes it cozier. I think just because it, in my mind, it feels more versatile that you can wear it kind of as a quarter zip if you 
just unzip it to here or you can use it fully open and use it as a cardigan you could throw it over like a workout set if you're going to the gym and things like that so i love this color and the knits both of them are actually really soft and i've never tried this brand before so i'm excited to style these you will definitely see those on my instagram and then the second to last one we have is from ysl which is their new fragrance, which I cannot pronounce, so I'm just gonna show it to you guys. I should know by now, but um, it smells very woody. It says oud, but it's a very beautiful musky scent. My, I sprayed it and my boyfriend really wants it, so I might just give it to him as like a Christmas freebie, but it smells amazing and I wouldn't be mad if he started to wear it. So definitely a stronger fragrance too if you're someone who doesn't want to spend a lot on fragrances because you feel like you go through it. This one I sprayed once and it had like fragrance in the room for like a half an hour. So um, really nice smell and I feel like you'll get a lot of use out of a small amount of it. A little goes a long way. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> okay, and then the last one that I wasn't going to show you guys, but I guess I might as well because these are going to be on my Poshmark. I mistakenly received another pair of the Mark Fisher boots, the leather ones that have the cover over the top, they're right over there, because um, I've been styling them for another YouTube video. But I just received the same pair, and I checked the product photo. They're still in the size 9, and they're black, so now I have two. So I'm going to ask my sisters if they want them first. If they don't, then you guys will see these on my Poshmark. But speaking of Poshmark, I need to get to that stuff today because... Um, we have a lot of things to post and it's not summer stuff. It's like fall and winter things that I have realized now that I'm like cycling through my clothes that I have to get rid of and who better to give it to than you guys. So I'm going to link my Poshmark down below if the things are ready by the time that this video goes up. And if they're not, I'm still going to link my Poshmark so you can have a look and then follow me on Instagram so that you can see on stories when all of that stuff goes live. But I need to go and put some lip moisturizer on because I feel like my lips are so dry. We're going to eat some breakfast and then I think as a nice little Sunday activity, we're going to try a new coffee shop and the name is escaping me, but I will show you guys my outfit before I leave and hopefully by then I'll know where I'm going. I didn't realize it was going to get this much lighter in the apartment because it's raining today, but I would have waited to do the unboxings later in the morning if I knew it was going to be a little bit better for you guys to see everything, but it's finally time for my coffee run. It's 9.51, which is a little bit later for me, but I just wanted to kind of have a slow morning and I feel like that's exactly what we're doing. So I put on Harry Potter because I fell asleep during Prisoner of Azkaban last night. So I rewinded to the point that I remembered seeing and now I've just been watching that, had my breakfast and I did a little bit of makeup. I did concealer. Um, blush and then just my rose ink lip moisturizer because I was telling you guys that my lips are so dry right now and we need to tackle that but my hair is really greasy so I put it in a hat I was gonna do a slick bun but honestly I'm just gonna be home for the majority of the day aside from going out right now and I didn't want to like put any stress on my hair for no reason especially since it's raining so there's no possibility of me shooting at all today either. So we're just giving it a little bit of a break and covering it up with my on the way hat. This is from 112s I think is the brand. And then the set that I'm wearing underneath my trench is my Cyrus Knits kind of like ribbed set. It's a like, I don't know, crew neck top and then straight leg pants. And my shoes are actually my Nike Dunks. I haven't worn these in a while. I also have a pair that my boyfriend got me for Christmas that I kind of want to bring out now that it's in the fall season and I feel like they're darker colors and fit more of like the fall tone. So I'm going to probably style those a little bit more often now. And then my trenches from One Mile. This is probably one of my favorite things that I've ever added into my wardrobe and my favorite thing to recommend to people. The only thing I would say is that it's kind of mid shin on me and I'm a, I'm a, I am 5'8", so I'm a little bit on the taller side, and for people who are like five foot, I would say, this probably will be dragging on the ground for you, but it's a really nice length. The quality of this is just insane, and I really love the design of it with these like larger lapels. They have little wrist cuffs, which I think is a really nice detail and adds a cool shape, and then the buttons are tortoise, and you guys know I love a tortoise button. So this is gonna be the outfit. Oh, I also have my Vivrel bag that I'm renting 
for the next couple of days, I think, on the 31st, I can choose a new one. But honestly, I love this bag so much and you can keep it past 30 days. So I might just want to keep this one instead of swapping it out. But let me know what you guys think if you want to see a different one or if you want me to keep styling this cute little classic one. So this is the outfit. I also forgot to explain that I tied in the cream in my hat with the cream on my shoes, but no one needed to know that anyway. So let's head out. I'm really excited. The place is called Suited. I figured that out. I don't know why I always forget the name of it, but I did walk past it during an evening walk one time. So I know exactly where it is and I'm excited to head up there. It's not really raining right now, but I might bring my umbrella just in case. back in the apartment now and I have a random flower update for you guys. I don't know if I need to have plant food or something, but this is the reason why I just don't buy bodega flowers anymore because if you guys have been around for a while, I had a set of rotten tulips that I got from a bodega near my last apartment and they ended up going moldy and gross in like three days. And now these, while I love the colors and I think the flowers look really nice paired together, we have some droopy guys over here. And this one's very droopy. So is this, which is even worse. And I can't even, you know, begin to understand how to resurrect them. Also because I have no idea what type of flowers these green ones are. I just liked the color of them. Um, but I'm going to try and keep them in front of the window just because this side was facing the window yesterday and these were away. So I'm thinking maybe we gotta flip it around and keep them toward the light and see if that helps a little bit. But they feel very, like, I don't wanna say wet. They're kind of um, saturated. They feel like they're saturated with water. So I don't think they're dry because, I mean, they've also been sitting in water all night. But um, yeah, we're just struggling with the arrangement a little bit and I'm kind of disappointed. I don't know if I killed them or if it's just another unfortunate bodega flower situation. All right, we're back from Suited. I just gave you guys a flower update and I also was able to change out the sheets on my bed, which I'm super happy about. I put on the Super Home ones and they are a very soft, luxurious, cooling type of sheet. So I'm so excited to sleep in that tonight. I also just love fresh sheets on a Sunday. I don't know what it is. It's not like a tradition that we had in my house. So I don't know. I just like starting the new week with fresh sheets and a workout. So later today I am going to go down to the gym and get a little workout in, but we're here with another coffee review. As if I didn't try every single coffee shop in New York City already, I have actually not been to Suited and I went with an iced latte. It's like 55 degrees and raining today, but it wasn't raining when I went there. And I also just think that with these like warm days that I'm having, I'm trying to fit in my last few cups of iced coffee. I have been loving the hot coffee when it got a little bit colder out for like 0.5 seconds, but we've got an iced latte. I got vanilla in it and it is so, so good. At first I tasted it and it reminded me of Variety Coffee Roasters, which is a little coffee shop. Actually, it's not small. It's like pretty big on the Upper East Side. And I also just saw that they have one downtown. So we're gonna be going to Variety too. There's a lot of different places to go to down here considering it's very corporate. And I felt like there were just gonna be Starbucks. We do have some smaller coffee shops, which I love. And this one was a 10 minute walk. So it was perfect because I wanted to get out of the apartment. So it wasn't too far, which I loved. The inside is really cute. It has a little bit of a different concept. I feel like a lot of coffee shops in New York City do like black, white and wood. 
and this one just had like a little bit of a more fun element to it I loved the light up signs that they had outside we are getting way deep into this review but I really love suited Avery if you're watching this thank you so much for recommending this to me I will be going a bunch more and I feel like it's kind of a hidden gem in the city it's on like a random side street so if you guys are downtown if you're visiting like the 9-11 memorial I highly recommend walking over to grab like an afternoon coffee if you're down here and if you're not I think they only have one downtown, but I do have a like best coffee shops in New York City video that are more uptown and in Soho or in West Village, more so places that people would visit more often. Um, but yeah, I really love it and I just put extra ice cubes in it so I can enjoy it for the next five hours. So I also stopped into Zara and H&M. I tried to film a little bit in Zara, but I got scared because a lot of YouTubers that I know have gotten in trouble for filming in Zara and I know different locations have different rules. I feel like some care and some don't and some people just get away with it. So I had a couple of clips in there, but I did end up picking up things from Zara, potentially a dress that I'm going to wear to my friend's black tie wedding in May, which I'm kind of hesitant because I feel like finding a dress this early is not a good idea because I might find something that I love in between now and then, but I have a few weddings to go to next year. So I'm sure I could wear it to something if it ends up working out. And then I went to H&M and I picked up a few things there. So just when I thought I was going to have a calm day, I want to take pictures for Poshmark to get that stuff up first and foremost, and then I also want to try and film a Zar H&M haul, whether that is just doing the cutaways or just doing the sit down part. I want to get that done, um, depending on you know wherever there's light in the apartment, because I, because as I mentioned four times, it's raining today, so it's a little bit more dim in here, but we still have a good amount of light for me to be able to film something for you guys. And because I'm going to be away next weekend, I just wanted to get that done. So I actually haven't mentioned to you guys, but I am going to Venice for work and I am kind of in disbelief still and really excited and distracted because of this work project that I've had over the past two and a half weeks. So I am going to be packing and doing all of the things that I do when it comes to traveling and I am just so excited and grateful and blessed to be going to Europe again and they're always just so great at planning these events for us and they're just really really insightful and I get so much out of them. They do a fantastic job with you know creating a bonding experience while learning from each other and being able to collaborate in one place because it's every single region in the world so it's really cool and I love doing this and I just got the chills. <laughs> um, so yeah after this little weekend vlog you guys can expect some styling videos and also a pack with me for Venice vlog because I love you know laying out my outfits and showing you guys what I'm bringing and because I don't really have to dress business professional when I go to work it's gonna be really fun for me to put those outfits together because it's basically just like me trying to dress like European chic and that's my favorite way to dress so stay tuned for that anyway before I go off on a rant I'm gonna put a hair mask in because my sister actually mentioned that she's been using her hair mask instead of slick back products so it's Sunday and my hair is greasy as hell so I figured it would be a really good time to do it so I'm gonna pop in a hair mask and then try to get some activities done okay we're switching gears we're back on the vlog because I just finished filming the Zara and H&M haul and that was a little bit rough I had to start over twice and I feel like I usually breeze right through it but because I haven't done these as often as I would like to I feel like I'm a little bit choppy with it but Hopefully you guys like it. I'm gonna try to do the cutaways for it now because I do wanna get this video up this week or have something to edit while I'm on the plane going on my trip next weekend. Um, but just wanted to mention this sweater to you guys. I did talk about it in the video even though it's not a part of the haul, but this is the mint velvet sweater that I was talking to you guys about earlier today. The matching trousers are in the wash because I wore them yesterday and they're so long on me and they dragged all over New York City in the subway. Just really gross so those are gonna get washed and then I'm gonna get them hemmed at a place down the street but this is like the ultimate coziness situation I really love the quality of this and it's a full zip through so I just I don't know I just feel so cozy I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day and I just feel like really put together honestly so um, I don't really know what else I'm gonna be doing today I already changed my sheets I have to do laundry and I don't think we have any new packages. So because I am going to New Jersey yet again tomorrow, I wanted to end out this vlog here so that I can edit it and get it up for you guys today, which sounds really ambitious, but it is only 2 p.m. Oh, it's almost 2.30. <laughs> 
I started filming at 2 p.m. So it's almost 2.30 now and I really wanted to get a video up for you guys because I know I haven't posted in... I feel like it's only been a week, but I think it's been two weeks. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am just getting back into my vlogging routine. So if it was a little choppy, I apologize, but we are getting back on the wagon. I will be working from home probably for the next um, couple days after I'm back from New Jersey just because I need to prepare for the trip and I have nothing done and I have a lot of work to catch up on over these past two weeks. So I'm gonna be at home and I will be vlogging with you guys. So stay tuned for the packing video, for the styling videos, for this haul that I just did and make sure you don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of them. I am appreciative of every single one of you. I love YouTube and I love filming for YouTube and interacting with you guys in the comments. And I did just want to say a special thank you to anyone who comments down below because I love getting to know my subscribers and really hearing your comments and suggestions and all things like that. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you all and I will see you soon.